Hey everyone, this is Ashley Ingalls Ross with the Huntsville Madison County Chamber of Commerce. Um, I'm the Vice President of Small Business here at the Chamber and we are here today to talk with our guests about the Turner School of Construction Management, which is a free eight week business accelerator. This is Becca and she's going to tell us a little bit about the program. Becca. Sure. Um, so the Turner School of Construction Management, um, like you said, is an eight week free program um, where specifically construction industry oriented small businesses um, can come and learn best practices from Turner, um, learn ways to grow their business, and network and meet other small businesses. Um, this program has been around um, since the 1960s. Um, Turner is the that nation. It's just unbelievable. It's incredible. That's yeah. It's wonderful. So Turner is um, the largest general contractor in the United States. Okay. And so um, I'm with the Hudsville office. And so as, a, as a, a business unit with Turner, we support that program here in, uh, for North Alabama. Fantastic. So tell me a little bit about the qualifications for the program mm -hmm. um, and a little bit about the program and what you do over the eight week period. Sure. So this is specifically tailored for small and minority owned small businesses. Okay. So it's, it's important to Turner um, to to reach out into the community and to make sure that our job sites look like the community that we live and build in. Okay. So um, we want to make sure that um, we are doing the work to, to meet those businesses that um, might have had a little bit more difficult path um, to success and really reach out and meet with them and mentor them and and give them the tools um, to be the most successful that they can be because when um, they come onto a Turner job site then we know that we that we all win right so tell me a little bit about those tools and how mm -hmm. those tools are what they are mm -hmm. and um, how they're addressed throughout the evening. sure so we cover all the different aspects of any um, major construction project. So from business development and marketing, so getting yourself out there um, to gain contracts, and then once you have that contract, how to write the contract and how to protect yourself and to protect your people. Awesome. Everything from scheduling and project management to finance and cost, um, even HR, we have an HR segment. So it's basically oh, um, a construction project in a microcosm presented um, to, to these businesses. And every small business, no matter what, um, what aspect of construction you're in will will find something in each of those things that applies applies to their their business. So you you came you said obviously COVID stopped mm -hmm. for stopped things yeah. for a little bit. So right. this is the so this is the this is the second one we've had in person since COVID. So okay. um, we generally have it every year, um, but then it got interrupted for a little while. So we're really glad to be back. How how many folks will go through it in a cohort? So we have a max uh, capacity at 24. Okay. And we can have two individuals from each business can attend. And it is a fr you can have two people from mm -hmm. each business. And mm -hmm. it is a free eight week. It's program. free program. So what does your graduation look like? Um, well, you get a nice little certificate. Okay. okay. Um, in a frame, and also part of. Um, Part of the graduation is that you get to say that you're a graduate, and especially when you go through the pre-qualification process with Turner, that's a checkbox on our pre-qualification process. So if you are trying to work with Turner, um, it's just a way for you to say like, hey, I know not only like what I'm doing here in my trade, but I have learned best practices from you about about being in business together. Very good. And so, so you said you have 24 people that come through. Do mm -hmm. you typically have all of them graduate? Um, it depends. Mm -hmm. um, so we do have a requirement that you have to attend seven out of the eight classes, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes, you know, we get it, life happens, like business happens, mm -hmm. and um, people can't complete the program. Um, but I have a standing rule that if you start Turner School, even if you can't finish that cohort, you are automatically enrolled in the next one if you want to okay. come through and, and, and try and finish it the next time. Outstanding. So before we switch over to Shamika, I want to ask what what does a program day look like? Like what 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 is a week? Yeah. In this program? So so we um, we meet one day a week okay. um, and um, I like to call them lunch break sessions. Learn on your lunch break. So we provide lunch. Um, you just come in at 11 o'clock. We provide lunch to you. Um, 
whatever the topic is for the week, um, there'll be a different um, Turner professional who that is their, you know, that's their job. So if it's the project management week, we've got a project manager or operations manager. Um, it's, it's the people at Turner who do this work from day to day okay. who are your instructors. So they've got years of experience. And um, so they lead you through the session. We always have plenty of time for questions because there's always questions. Sure. Sure. It is, you know, part lecture, but also um, very highly dialogue. Like it's a conversation. Um, people are sharing their ideas, asking their questions. Um, very good. And just we're all learning from each other. And how long is this? Two is hours. Two yep, hours. 11 to 1. Okay. Very good. So this is Shamika Minnesey. She is with us. She is a graduate of the program. Shamika, tell us a little bit about your company and the history of your company. Absolutely. So I'm Shamika Minnesey. I'm one of two owners of Presidential Concrete. Okay. We've been housed in Huntsville for 18 years. It'll be okay. 19 years this coming summer. Wow. So time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> so we have done everything from residential, commercial, governmental, and industrial types of construction. Okay. But Shamika Menace really came on board about three years ago. Okay. So I did research and found out about Turner. And for me, my goal is to not only leave a legacy for our children, but the community that comes behind us. So I didn't just want to do residential construction. I wanted to partner with partners like Turner. And so with my background of being a researcher, okay. I found that Turner was the number one construction company. And it made sense for, not just because we're minorities, um, but it made sense for Presidential Concrete uh -huh. to be partnered with the number one Absolutely. general contractor. And so we've done, we're actually doing a project about three blocks over from here in Five Points right now. Okay. Um, we've done work all over the Tennessee Valley. So I was really excited to be accepted to Turner School of Construction. With my background in acquisition and contracts management, oh, I think okay. it was a great marriage with my husband whose background is completely construction. Okay. I knew that I was too pretty to pour concrete. <laughs> um, I like it. I like it a lot. There you go. I have no interest in being outside in the elements, but my background and my degrees are in business. Okay. So I was really excited every week when we would have someone different. And let me just back up. This program shouldn't be free. I've been a part of several <laughs> cohorts and masterminds. And the value that Turner gives us as small contractors, minority, meaning it could be woman-owned, mm -hmm. um, Asian, African American, and mm -hmm. that was the thing. In the class, you had people from all walks of life. Wonderful. So I met a Filipino um, lady. I've met some other women who own the business and not necessarily alongside their spouse, but it was their business in construction that they were interested in growing. Mm -hmm. So you had that component. But then the food that Becky did. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, I, knew, I knew you were going to talk about the food. And in long story short, so my company, we've been around 18 years. We're licensed and insured. That's us. But here's the good part. Having lived here almost 24 years, I consider myself a foodie and someone who knows the lay of the land. Uh -huh. and then comes Becca. <laughs> she finds the most dynamic places, the best food you ever eat <laughs> from all across your palate. <laughs> Wonderful. And she presents it to you, and you eat it. So you not only get free knowledge, uh -huh. you also get a great lunch. You don't C have come to for the lunch, stay yeah, for the like stay it. for the construction so knowledge. I want to ask you a question. Okay. So the company had been around for fifteen years. Eighteen. Eight. But but you went. But it was fifteen when you entered the program. It was three years ago. It, well, when I entered the program right. was twenty three. But I entered working side by side one hundred percent. Oh, okay. With okay. my husband, twenty nineteen. So just it feels COVID. like. It, when you say that, your company was established. I yeah. mean, you were mm -hmm. well established. So what, so, and you said you felt that it was important to align with, with Turner. Mm -hmm. What else at that point in your business made you think, um, this, this is something really worth worthwhile that we need to dive into? Well, to make a long story short, I had a conversation with my husband because, you know, you can establish yourself and then you could reestablish yourself. Okay. So we've been established since 2005. We reestablished in 2019. And so my goal in reestablishment and coming on board 100 mm percent -hmm. was not just to have to ma we mastered the mundane. Okay. We've done your concrete oh, and Becker concrete yeah. and Shamika's concrete. And that's phenomenal. But the price of everything is increasing, including my employees' hourly rate. And I knew that 
I needed to be partnered with general contractors. And having been around for 18 years, I wasn't interested in any general contractor, like if Shamika just starts a company today. That's fantastic. I'm cheering for you. I hope you win. But let me align with some people who have gone through the ebbs and flows of business mm -hmm. and who understands that every part is a you know is the sum of the whole part mm -hmm. and so it made sense for me to align with Turner having been around umpteen years all over the US I think big and presidential concrete won't just be a Huntsville company we're going to expand so with that I want to partner with a company that I can go and do work in Maine if I want to New York City Tennessee or Huntsville and so okay. that's how it came apart. So about. tell me a little bit about going through the program. Okay. Tell me a little bit about that. So going through the program was a match made in heaven for me. Remember my background is acquisition and contracts. So I'm a person who has bought missiles. I'm a person who has bought helicopters and with that comes a lot of business. Okay. You have to be strategic, you have to talk to a lot of people and you have to be aligned. So going through that program shows one that you can. You don't just start a construction company and go pour concrete. Mm -hmm. There's the accountant, the accountant portion mm -hmm. okay. that's important. You need to understand how to write contracts. I found us in earlier years, mm -hmm. if you wanted concrete, we're running to do it, but there's no contract in place to, to cover myself. Gotcha. And so going through the program and you seeing all of these layers that make up a construction project, mm -hmm. it was fascinating for me. I don't care about what this building is, but I care about the numbers and the different departments and the human resources that comes to so play. Very, so very, so perfect. you're business savvy. I am so very this, business savvy. But that's what this this program really helped you dive into. Yes, and, and for those who aren't. So right. clearly my husband is, we've been established for 18 years, but I don't know that he goes into the weeds of the different departments like, mm -hmm. um, he knows all of the safety regulations, but what right. about the accounting part? Okay. He leaves mm -hmm. that on the accountant. Yeah. But if you're a small business and you're the accountant, you're the HR. environmental mm -hmm. manager, oh, the HR, yeah. mm -hmm. you need to know what all of those looks like and not be afraid of it. So the program shows you that, yes, you can do all of this. And if it seems hard, then maybe it's time to scale and hire someone who can take care of that part, that department, if you will, mm -hmm. and you can still learn and grow. I think that it showed small businesses that you can be as big as you want to or as small as you want to, but understand that if you have these different components, it'll help you succeed. You know, I just have to say, as I'm sitting here listening to you, it is so inspiring to listen to you talk with such confidence, but not only confidence, also saying, we had to do this, we had to learn this, I had to do that, yeah. right? There yeah. were things that you didn't know, that's okay. Yeah. I'm still gonna work mm -hmm. in Maine or Washington <laughs> State or yeah. California, but there's stuff that I needed to know. It yeah. is really yeah. refreshing You're to sweet. hear someone, <laughs> no, really, to speak with that kind of confidence that also embraces there's things I don't know and that's part mm -hmm. of growing yeah. and it's part of growing a business, right? Yeah. Right. And what I, you gonna say? Well, I was gonna say, I think that's one of the real benefits to the program is um, we want people to have been in business for at least a couple of years, okay. but what's great is you have these businesses like Presidential Concrete that's been in business for a long time. We've had some another company at the last cohort that have been in business for like 20 plus years. And then you also have people who are just starting out have only been in business for a couple of years. And okay. there's so much that everybody can learn from each other. Yes. There's people who, who are, all of this stuff is new information. And then there's other people who are like, no, I do know this, but I didn't realize this part. Okay. And everybody's learning together and sharing knowledge with each other um, and it's just really wonderful to see so you mentioned you've got folks that have been in business for 18 plus mm -hmm. years uh, 20 plus years mm -hmm. and then two years is there yeah. a requirement do you have yes to have so we so we say three years okay. but if you're like two years and six months yeah. like you know um, we just want to make sure that you are established enough that um, what we're teaching isn't maybe too far advanced for gotcha. you that's it so tell me what is established enough? What would you, for those that watch this and mm -hmm. want to know, am I ready to apply mm -hmm. for that? Should I put this on my radar? I want if, to apply for that. Yeah. What do I need to make sure I have done? I would say if you feel like you are confident in your business now, but are ready to take it to a next level, yes. like Shamika, yeah, like Shemika yeah that is, that's the perfect time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So since and if I could say, yeah. 
don't let the 18 or 22 years mm. um, keep you from applying, right? Mm -hmm. Because with the 18, that's all of my husband's experience. I worked government. I came in three years ago, but my yeah. mindset was that we needed to scale and we needed to grow and we needed to align with companies like Turner. So if that is your mindset and you feel like, I don't know where I am right now, meaning you know what you're doing, but you don't know if you want to grow. It wouldn't hurt if mm -hmm. you've been established two years, six months plus to come and partake in a cohort like this. Never in a million years that I think I'd be sitting here sharing what we do and the benefit of going through the company and being on their pre-qualifications list mm -hmm. now. You just don't know the possibilities are endless. So you don't have to be confident like Shamika, but just confident in knowing that you can grow and being open enough to learn from not just Turner, but we all had conversations and mm -hmm. we were all open That's enough great. to mm -hmm. learn from one another. So that it's mentor, fantastic. mentoring, you just can't, you can't beat that. You mm -hmm. can't. So you mentioned something about being on Turner's pre-qualification mm -hmm. list. Can you talk a little bit about that? Now, remember when I said, <laughs> Be kind, like don't um, shorten yourself or shoot yourself in the foot by not applying. Now the pre qualification process is not like the class at all, <laughs> but I respect it. It's not easy. You do have to have all of your I's dotted, mm -hmm. all of your T's crossed. There's background information. They're not necessarily trying to see if you're a criminal. That will come out <laughs> if you are, but they really want to know that, you know, bills are paid, mm -hmm. that your safety ratings are okay. And we have had um, in a safety rating situation. All of that is taken care of. Nobody sure. kicked mm -hmm. the can or anything, but we weren't going to hide that. And so you have to understand it's kind of like if you've ever gone through a security clearance process yes. or you mm -hmm. bought a home, mm -hmm. list everything because they will find out. But rest assured that it's important because you're working, you're going to work with the number one contractor in the United States and they have a name to uphold just as you mm -hmm. do. So I'm just saying in short, this may be easy. You may be able to email Becca, show her articles of organization to show that you've been in business two years, six months. Plus, you can't do that with a prequal. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be some long days and nights, but <laughs> the caveat to that is that Turner is willing to help you. You go through mm -hmm. their program, they're willing to put time on their calendar to help you go through the process so that it's mm -hmm. not as scary. Okay. Yeah. And that is an outcome of, right, the eight-week program. So, so every subcontractor that wants to work with Turner, whether or not they've gone through the program or not, has to be pre-qualified through our system. So we just make sure that your insurance is good, that you know, we know if you have any certifications, that we know what those are, just so we know um, when a job comes up that you might be right for, that all of the, the, the I's are, are dots and, and, and everything right. is crossed and perfect. Um, but one of the things that we definitely go into um, during the Turner School is that we talk about pre-qualification okay. and, and making sure that you have all your documentation ready and all the things that you would need because it, that not, not only helps you when you are trying to pre-qualify for Turner, but for any other large sub, any other large contractor will have a similar process. Outstanding. So tell me, uh, what, so what, what are our deadlines? What is the application process? So like? registration is open now. Um, you can just go to the link, which I'm pretty sure will be on the Chamber website, it sure will. Um, and just click through the link. And it's just a real easy, like Microsoft form. We just want to know um, your business name, um, your contact information, how many years you've been in business, what your bonding limits are, um, just some really basic business information. Um, we want to know what you want to get out of the class and like like why you want to take it um, and you just submit that you don't have to put in any paperwork or anything like that just you know all the your basic information um, and that comes to me and then if you're accepted I send you an email so what's the deadline for the next cohort? so uh, February 26th and the cohort starts March 8th wonderful I want to thank you both so much for thank being you. here to tell us about the program, to tell us about your experience with the program as well as your company. Um, it was great to meet you, thank great you. to have you. And Thanks so much, Ashley. We'll talk to you next time.